Cambridge students will soon need to roll up their sleeves if they want to experience all school has to offer. As WBZ's Anna Myler shows us, COVID-19 vaccines will soon be mandated. The Cambridge School Committee voted last night six to one in favor of a COVID vaccine mandate for students that will go into effect next month. Students in Cambridge 12 and older will now have to be fully vaccinated or miss out on certain school activities. I think it's, it's a great uh, idea. I think uh, you know it's going to make the community all healthy and safe. Interim Superintendent Dr. Victoria Greer recommended the mandate because not enough teens are participating in surveillance testing or getting vaccinated. When you look at our youth vaccination rate, the 16 to 19 year olds in Cambridge is actually low. It's actually lower than the state. Those who are eligible for a vaccine but choose not to get it can still go to class, but they won't be allowed to take part in athletics, student government, performing arts, all school clubs, and school sponsored social events. I think that makes sense in that you're not depriving them of education, but the optional extracurricular things where you're most likely to get exposed, it seems to me that that's a legitimate place for you to impose the, the mandate. But some say that could be unfair to any students whose parents don't want them to get the vaccine. It seems like you're penalizing the student in some way uh, for, for something that they shouldn't be penalized for. Dr. Greer says over the next several weeks, they'll be holding information sessions and having conversations with families, including listening to concerns from parents who oppose the mandate. The intent is that as I said, to keep us safe in person schooling. And what I say to them, I welcome a conversation. We may not agree, and that's okay. Last week, the Amherst School District became the first in the state to approve a vaccine mandate for students. Here in Cambridge, the mandate goes into effect on November 22nd. Reporting in Cambridge, Anna Myler, WBZ News.